I want to bring in Roll Call's acting politics editor, Shira Toplitz, and editor-in-chief of Reason Magazine, Matt Welch. Good morning. Happy holiday to both of you. Thanks for coming in. I, I guess, how do we define leak? I mean, the White House seems to be suggesting, Matt, that they didn't leak this. This wasn't an official plan. but. What's going on here politically? I mean, I think a lot of this is just sort of a parliamentary maneuvering on both sides in advance of a negotiation, right? I mean, the president wants to keep the political pressure on both the uh, negotiators and the Republican Party in general, and he wants to set the terms of the debate on his own ground. Republicans want to say, hey, you know, we're working over here. We're, we're actually trying to get something done, and they want to have their own uh, uh, emphases, which is going to be more on border security than the president's plan. So some of that is just the smoke and fire of it. Of uh, of that debate, but another part is that uh, immigration reform is hard, and there's there are different, uh, strong differences of opinions on those two sides and on other sides, and this reflects that. I think. And we shouldn't be surprised people like Marco Rubio immediately coming out against it. Here's part of what his statement said: If actually proposed, the president's bill would be dead on arrival in Congress, leaving us with unsecured borders and a broken legal immigration system for years to come. I, I mean. Sure, were, were Republicans going to shoot down anything that came from the White House anyway? Is that just all part of this? It absolutely is. Uh, and in a way, this whether or not the White House meant to leak this or not, they wanted this out there. In a way, it gives Republicans a lot of cover because they can shoot down the president's first foray. And that gives them a, a lot of room to work with Congress now and come up with their own deal without looking like they are cooperating with the president. And that's particularly important for Marco Rubio because if he has his eyes on 2016, he does not want to look like he was hand in hand with the president on this very important legislative issue. Well, one of the senators who's working on as part of this uh, bipartisan a group is Senator Chuck Schumer. Let me play for you what he had to say. We've talked to Senator Rubio and he's fully on board with our process and I am very hopeful that in March we will have a bipartisan bill. I'm happy with the president. He's given us the space and I'm optimistic we can get something done. So he's saying he's happy with the president. He seems to be suggesting with what you're suggesting. This is just sort of a preliminary to this battle that's coming up. But could it delay things? Are, are Republicans really mad? I don't know if it's going to delay those things. I and mean, the open question is the one that Rand Paul posed: Is are we talking about something where uh, the, the Democrats like this as an issue, or are they trying to get something done? Republicans feel behind the eight ball on this. I think they're in the worst position, leverage-wise, because they're truly panicked about their vote totals among Latinos in this past election. So they feel a pressure to get something done that their base is a little bit uh, sketchy about. Um, the question is, how serious is the president and the Democratic Party about actually trying to get a Deal signed. Well, it's interesting. I mean, if you put the plans side by side, you see that there are some commonalities between the president's plan and the Senate bipartisan plan. Shorter path to citizenship for these so-called dreamers, uh, you know, the young students. Enhanced border security. The big difference, it seems, and we don't know exactly what the president's plans are for the guest worker program and future flow. I mean, the demographic Shira have obviously changed. Does something almost have to get done for both sides here? Uh, yes, something does have to get done. If not this Congress, then the next Congress. Just the demographics, as you point out, are just too stark. The, num the Hispanic population in this country, especially in Texas, a state Democrats want to tackle in the next couple cycles. It's just growing too fast for the country not to do something. But as Matt pointed out, it's, it's Republicans are in a pickle on this because they're, the base of their party does not want to see Republicans being very weak on immigration. Well, let me bring in freshman Congressman Peter Gallego uh, 